like I was saying, the Android Auto, you know, automatically boots up. It's real fast. Um, the Bluetooth, everything connects real fast. Um, and everything. The installation was uh, everything was supposed to, is plug and play, but the like I said, the instructions. Um, I I had purchased the splitter for the GPS uh, uh, antenna, so I could use my factory GPS antenna. But there was no instructions on how or where, which which uh, connection behind the radio was the GPS antenna for the factory. So I didn't want to keep trial and error, trying to take stuff apart, putting it back together, take stuff back, back apart, put it back together to find out which one was which. So I just went ahead and just not used it. And I hooked up the GPS antenna that came with this. But then I thought about it. I was like, I'm using Android auto. Uh, I can use the GPS from that. So I don't, I didn't need it. So um, I'm going to disconnect that antenna because right now uh, the brain that comes with the unit, is I got it up under behind the uh, glove box. Um, so I'm going to drop this glove box and just disconnect it. And that's one less set of wires that's back there. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, the only the other thing is to use my phone, if I get a phone call for hands free dialing, you got to run the, the mic. I wish they had a splitter where you can use the existing car mic because um, I have to run that, that mic. Um, that is going to, it's kind of going to be pain, but it's kind of not. Um, just going to cut it across the glove box of the, the pillar and across. And they say, just tuck it in up, up run the trim and have it right here above the, uh, the mirror. So we, we'll see. Um, but anyway, like I said, the unit pretty much does what I needed to do. Um, right now. I can't play my audio from my phone or from a uh, flash drive because the USB, like I said, I got it right here, right here in the glove box, as well as the 4G connector right here. I got them just tucked here in the glove box. So when I get my, you know, I can plug my music stick into it. It won't play through the speakers right now because for some reason you need the AMI, MMI plug because uh, that's what I have. I don't have the aux. I have the AMI, MMI, and you need that cable. I don't know why, but when you plug it into the port, it's what the music is supposed to play. You know, you can play your, your music, your videos, and everything that's, that's that the screen has. Um, the system has rather. Uh, so I'm waiting on the cable to come so I can use it. But as of right now, I can play my radio, you know, the factory radio with it still on. Um, to go back to the car uh, screen that comes with it, uh, shutting down. Let me power it back up. Oh, you once it comes back up, I'll show you. Um, yeah, to go back to the factory screen, all you have to do is hit the car button, and that'll take it right back to the factory uh, screen, and you still have all your functionality. See, hit the car button, and there it is. Still use my dial. The dial, everything still works. Hey, go back to the factory navigation, telephone, 